Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. I'm Possum Tater. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, now that we have the cabin, today we're going to talk about wiring up the cabin for solar electricity. Now, with solar, it's pretty easy because you only got red and black wires. And uh, it either works or it don't work. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yep, yep, as you can see right there, you see how I cut the wire and got it in place because this is where I'm going to put a hole in the side of the cabin to run out to a generator if I need to have higher voltage but you also notice on the end of them wires i went ahead and clamped on some of those little screw on cable ends i don't know what you call them but i clamped them on there so when i get the fuse panel and the ground block i can just screw them right on in there <coughs> yeah but anyway, I got some of this wire over here. Let me let me get that wire for you. I done forgot it. <laughs> older I get, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. I, oh, here it is. Let me get this. All right, I got the wire. Now this wire is marine wire, and I'll show you a close up of the numbers on it so you can see exactly what it is, but I'm also gonna put a link down there for the daggone Amazon thing, because I did buy this on Amazon, I got a pretty good old deal, mm-hmm. So I believe that you should use it. I don't know if you can read that, but I'm trying to get it in the camera there so you can read it. But it's marine wire. Yep, that's right. All right, all right. Now, what you want to do is you want to wire the cabin the way you want it. Make sure you know where you're going to put your switches and uh, where you're going to put your power outlets and where you're going to put your lights. Uh -huh. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is getting a little... Crunchy and crackly. Now, if you look here, you can see where we ran the wire up from the wall that had the, we're going to put the hole in it, up through the bottom of the wood there, and then it comes up in the ceiling where we plan to run the switches to the other side and where we're going to run the lights and where we're running the actual power outlets. Now those power outlets, just like a car lighter adapter, you do, so you can just plug anything that's 12 volt right on in there. Shoot, it's good for charging cell phones and laptops. It's good for charging everything. We're really gonna like using this thing, I tell you what. <laughs> but anyway, once you know where you want to put your stuff then you're gonna to have to buy the stuff like you know the the housing for the lights the uh, actual lights themselves but I'll show you later on in this video how we did it you can do it any way you want but one thing you want to keep in mind is that if you use regular switches and stuff like that then you have to buy light bulbs that are made for 12 volt can't just use regular light bulbs so that's one thing you want to keep in mind and the ones we got were lead so they use very little bit of electricity you see here this is one of the little boxes that you gotta buy to put that wire in and run it to that <clears throat> Now, if you're going to use the lights like we did, we wanted to go for like the barn look and use those utility lights. You're going to have to cut the plug off and cut the wire just a little bit less so you can jam it up in this box right here. 
And then once you get the length of all your lights to match or whatever length you want, then you just wire it up, tuck it up in that little blue box, and you got your light done. Well, not your light, but your fixture. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You can see that they're just the old cheap old lights got the clamp on them for painting and you know using just at the hardware store i think they were like nine bucks we got them on amazon yep yep and uh you can use them and then i'll show you how to wire those up in a different episode because this episode we're just going to talk about running the wire and insulating and getting ready for paneling in there mm-hmm so let's get on with it and I'll show you the particulars of the wires and where you can get it. And uh, I'll speak a little bit more about the insulation. Mm -hmm. You know, here's something else that I thought about that you might need to know is uh, when you're wiring, make sure you get a general idea where you're going to put a generator or something outside where you can, if you needed like air conditioning or something, you can actually cool it off with a little window unit or something. And we've done that, but, uh, but we like the solar. It is great. And up here, up in the country, man, at night, it gets cold. It, and even in the hot summer, man, it's nice because it's down in the holler. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. So, uh, anyway... Uh, make sure you know where you're going to put your base unit that has where your battery's going to be, where your wires are going to go out, where you can uh, get to the fuse panel and make it so you can get to it on the inside. And I'll show you how I did that. Just putting it all on a little piece of plywood and nailing it in between the 16 inch centers in the, in the cabin here, which is really good about Byler Barnes and once again everything's on 16 inch slap that uh, old insulation on in there and I tell you what it's gonna be nice I put some uh, R19 in there and then gonna put it in the ceiling we're gonna have it all it's gonna look good so you just keep on looking over here I tell you <laughs> I tell you just keep on watching we'll get you now here's that little piece of plywood I was telling you about but don't do it like it's shown here. I actually had to move it in a little bit once I put the fuse panel in the ground block in so the paneling would sit flush to the 2x4. So just make sure when you put that little piece of plywood to mount all your junk on to make sure it's like 2 inches deep or something like that just so it you know, fits flush in there. Okay, I made a little mistake here. I said R19. It's actually R13. Now, what you want to do is make sure you put the right type of insulation in, and I think it goes by the thickness of the wood. But I decided to put R13 in there, and it seems to be working just fine. Now, when I started putting in the insulation, I went ahead and did the easiest ones first, to lay out the most insulation I could without cutting around the stuff and cutting it to fit in the smaller areas like you see in that corner right there. So anyway, I just went ahead and, and did all the big areas. Then I came back and I did the smaller areas and filled in around the, what you call the gable there. I had to jerry rig and put in some more two by fours to get it to go up in there just right but anyway it was a pretty easy process used a lot of staples did a lot of cutting got a lot of fuzz in my mouth <laughs> i feel like i got a little fuzz right now I tell you. <coughs> now here's a little trick that we did when you're cutting your insulation you know we got the big old rolls of it and when you're cutting your insulation, you can get a straight edge, you know, like a, a, a piece of wood or something, and lay it on top of the, the insulation to mash it on down. And when you mash it on down, it makes when you go to cut that with one of them little cutting knives, it goes right through it, makes a nice cut, and you ain't, you know, you ain't got 
that fuzz everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even know what to call it. <laughs> Insulation fiberglass stuff. Anyway, so that's a good old tip that you might need to know. And you just take a staple gun and staple it on up right where you want to. Cut out where the light switches and whatnots is. And then you can, you can get it all hooked up. So anyway, here we go. We got most of the... <clears throat> okay, here we go. We got most of the insulation in. We're running the wires, connecting the switches. And like I said... In another episode, I'll show you how we connected those switches for 12 volts. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. All right. Well, that's it here on Possum Tater. We'll see you next time when I show you how we did our solar hookups. Got the battery and tested the lights. It should be a real good episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the insulation and running the wires. We'll see you again on Possum Tater. <laughs> I tell you what, I like that tater name. It just makes me just want to jump up and dance around. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. <laughs>